turning your stream into a full-on production is the key difference between a professional and an amateur. Having the tools necessary to produce a professional live stream is part of the process of becoming a pro. In this video, we'll talk about five free VST plugins that you can use with OBS for vocal changing effects. There are applications and things you can use for vocal changes. For instance, Voice Mod is a very popular app, as well as Clownfish in use with VST plugins. I actually set up these voice changing plugins within OBS as a filter on my microphone, and then I use an application called Touch Portal to toggle them on or off during my live stream. This video list will include things from pitch to reverb to delay and other cool vocal effects. Every one of the VST plugins that I list in this video will be linked in the description below. Along with the free downloads in the description, make sure you check out all the socials that I have linked below. And if you guys enjoy content like this, you know what to do. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first plugin I want to talk about is Isotope's Vocal Doubler. The Isotope Vocal Doubler doubles your vocals in a very, very cool way. Actually, the display makes a lot of sense once you understand how it works, and you can download this for free using the link in the description below from Isotope's website. Isotope's Vocal Doubler is actually very easy to use, and the big reason for that is how simple the the interface is on this plugin. In the middle here, we have this orange sphere. This represents the original audio. Outside of that sphere, are three other spheres that represent the actual doubling effect. When you increase or decrease the size of this sphere, you're adjusting the separation or the frequency of that doubled effect. When you slide this dial down, you're adjusting the variation between each doubled signal. This in turn will create a more unnatural sound and get you some pretty cool effects. On the bottom right is the mix dial. So you're adjusting the amount of wet slash dryness with this specific plugin by sliding it up or down. Let's take a look at how it sounds. The vocal doubler has some really cool effects. I'm just going to toy with this dial here so that you can hear what it sounds like with different variations and different separations. And again, you can adjust how much of this is applied to your audio with the wet and dry dial down here. Next on the list is M Auto Pitch by Melda Production. M Auto Pitch is one of the most desirable plugins out there because it's a great alternative for auto tuning. Along with pitch correction, it has stereo expansion and it's quick, free, and easy to use. The M Auto Pitch plugin actually has some presets that you can access from the presets window. It actually helps to understand what these dials on this plugin do so that you can create the exact pitch that you're looking for. On this plugin, you have the tuning and the effects windows. The depth dial is going to adjust the depth of the modulation, and the speed is going to be the speed of the pitch correction. Detune is a global tuning option, and the bass dial is going to adjust the bass tuning frequency for this tuning. You can adjust how much of the mix you want applied to your vocals using the dry and wet dial. Along with that, you can adjust how much of the formants you want to keep during that adjustment. The width dial allows you to widen your vocal and the formant shift is going to change the tonality of your vocal. Let's hear what it sounds like. This is what the M auto pitch sounds like turned on. I'm going to adjust some of these dials so that you can hear what it sounds like. We'll also change the bass frequency as well and the speed at which it applies the tuning. We're gonna make this effect fully applied to our vocals. We'll widen our audio just a bit and then we'll make sure we apply a heavy form and shift. Next on the list is Vox & Co's Overtone GEQ Harmonic Enhanced Equalizer. Vox & Co Overtone GEQ is a graphic equalizer that will also apply harmonic overtone to the audio mix. It, it, it's just really cool, so let's go ahead and check it out. Overtone GEQ is a seven band EQ that applies harmonics to your vocals. By default, it shows a left and a right channel for your vocals but most likely 
you are using a mono on your microphone. You can adjust the frequency on each one of these bands from 20 all the way up to 21,000 hertz. And last but not least, it's important to note that you can adjust the super sampling over here if you guys are running into any form of distortion with this plugin. Let's take a look at how it sounds. You can have some really cool effects by adjusting these bands here and get a really unique sound uh, for your vocals, applying harmonics to specific bands on an EQ. The next plugin is definitely one of my favorites on this list, and that is Valhalla Supermassive. Valhalla Supermassive is one of the most powerful tools when it comes to delays and reverbs and it's absolutely free. It has very powerful presets built into the plugin. It's very easy to use. Uh, so make sure you definitely grab this plugin for some cool effects. The Valhalla Supermassive is one of the most powerful delay and reverb VST plugins out there. It has a bunch of different modes which will adjust the attack times, the speed times, the density of the reverb, and the density of the delay. So each mode essentially is going to have a different algorithm for each one of these dials. There are a massive number of presets which will give you a great place to start, and you might even find what you're looking for within these presets here. On the left, the mix dial is going to adjust the wet slash dry portion of your mix, so how much of this plugin is going to be applied to your vocals. And and you can widen your vocals using this dial here. In the middle, you can adjust the delay, the amount of time for that delay, and the amount of delay that is fed back into the delay using this warp function. You can then increase the amount of feedback and the number of echoes with the density dial here. The mod rate dial is going to control the rate of the delay modulation in hertz, and depth is going to control the depth of the delay modulation. In the EQ section, you have a high cut and a low cut to cut off the frequency where you would like it to be cut off. Let's take a look at some of the presets and listen to how this plugin sounds. This is the bigger preset synth sound to your voice if you would like using the hydro mode with a great different mix of the dials as well this plugin is without a doubt a must have because you can do so much with it the last plugin on this list is another valhalla plugin and that is the space modulator the valhalla space modulator is a flinging plugin it's a very powerful plugin very cool and it again is free to use so let's go ahead and get it downloaded and take a look on the valhalla space modular there are 11 different modes the mix is going to be your wet and dry the rate dial is going to be the rate of modulation in hertz and the depth dial is going to be the amount of time it takes for the modulation to apply to the signal the feedback dial controls the amount of feedback around the modulated signal and the manual adds fixed pre-delay to the modulated signal just like valhalla supermassive Valhalla Space Modulator comes with a massive amount of presets that give us a good starting point. So let's go ahead and play with these presets and see how they sound. This is what Valhalla Space Modulator sounds like on default. We're going to flange down. This is what it sounds like with the flange down preset. We're going to go into the weird, maybe add some crazy straw. This is what this crazy straw preset sounds like. I like doublers. So let's go ahead and do a double slap. If you don't like doublers, you can change the pitch to something like fun time. This is what fun time sounds like with the Valhalla Space Modulator. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoy content like this, make sure you like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. For those of you that have been around for a while, if you're interested in supporting the content that I create, check out the Gilded subscription link in the description below. While you're looking at the links in the description, you might as well check out all the socials I have listed below as well. And with that being said, guys, I want to thank you again so much for watching this video, and I will catch you next time.